Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a clean minimal minimap in Unity using the nav mesh system. It's very easy to set up and will auto update when you bake your nav mesh. As always all the files you need are linked in the description. I'll show you what I'm talking about, how to set it up, add a shader of course and some additional notes. So the common setup is a top down orthographic camera that renders all the terrain in the scene and while this works, it's a bit noisy and I wanted something simpler. Only showing the floor and an outline. In my game AstroCAD, I was already using the nav mesh for AI pathfinding. And when I looked at the generated mesh in the editor, I realized that this is a very good base for my map. And I wondered if there's a way to use this mesh. Turns out that you can access it in code. So here's how to set it up. To start with we need to have a nav mesh set up. So this is easier if you're already using it. But just in case here's how to make it work. Create a new nav mesh surface from AI nav mesh surface. If you don't see this option you are probably missing the AI navigation package. Look for it in the package manager. Just making a little example setup here. Hit bake on the nav mesh surface and you should see the blue nav mesh appear in the scene. If you don't see it, you might be missing this setting here. To adjust the look of the nav mesh, you can try out different agent settings. In the AI navigation window, you can set them. A lower step height will give you a flatter mesh. A bigger radius will make the edges wider. And you can exclude objects using nav mesh modifiers and nav mesh modifier volumes. That's the nav mesh baked. Now let's set up a dedicated minimap camera. Create a new camera, rotate it 90 degrees down on the X axis, set the projection to orthographic and adjust the size to fit your level. We'll render this camera to a render texture. Create a new render texture from create rendering render texture and drag it into the camera's target texture. Then to make it show up in the UI, create a raw image in your canvas and assign the render texture. It should now be visible. Set the camera's clear flag to solid color and make sure that the alpha is zero. And now we have transparency. Next, we're going to extract the nav mesh as an actual mesh in the scene. Create a new 3D game object. It doesn't matter which one, it will be overwritten by the script. Remove the collider and add the script called minimap mesh. The script is linked in the description. You can find it here at the bottom of the post. Grab the code and copy it into your project. In the script, we grab the vertex data from the nav mesh surface via nav mesh calculate triangulation and create a new mesh from the vertices and indices and then apply this new mesh to the mesh filter. Assign the mesh filter and hit right click bake on the script and you may need to set the position to zero now we've got a nice mesh showing exactly where the player can walk. Apply an unlit material to the object so we don't have shadows interfering with the map. To make sure only the map camera sees this mesh, assign it to a dedicated layer, like minimap, and set the camera's culling mask to only include this layer. And there's a clean minimap. You can add a player icon as a child of your player to the same layer so it shows up on top or render those to a separate render texture on top of the current one if you want to use a bunch of the shader effect styles. Moving on to the shader, let's make this look a little bit better with a custom shader to add an outline and an overlay texture to the minimap render texture. I've provided the shader in the link. There's a shader graph and the code version. This shader is based on my old sprite outline shader. As a very quick overview, it takes the image alpha, 
offsets it into four directions to inflate the texture. So we get an outline, which gets colored separately, and it adds an optional overlay to the main texture. If you want the whole tutorial, you can check out the sprite outline post I've also linked in the description. So we add this shader as a new material to the raw image in our canvas. And here are some results you can get by playing with material settings. If you want your map to scale automatically, I've included a little script called Minimap Size. You can also find this at the bottom of the linked post. It finds the bounds of the minimap mesh and resizes the camera to it. You can add an extra value here to scale the camera further if you need it. So the old nav mesh system was actually better at keeping out non-walkable objects. In the navigation 2.0 setup it's common to get isolated nav mesh areas like this inside of objects when you're using mesh colliders. If you're having trouble with these unwanted bits in your nav mesh there is a solution. You can get this open source nav mesh cleaner from github. It's linked in the description, add the script to your nav mesh surface, and by providing a point on the nav mesh, you can specify which islands you want to keep. By clicking this button, it will check if the island is located within the current points, and remove the isolated parts if you rebake the nav mesh surface. The result is much better. And that's it, a clean, easy to read minimap using Unity's built-in nav mesh system. You can go further with the system, make it into a 3D map, or set it up for room-based maps like in the early 3D Zelda games. If you're interested in a video going over that, let me know. If you like this video and want to see more, check out my other shader videos. And I also have a GitHub site with all my written tutorials and breakdowns about all manner of game dev topics. Big thank you to my patrons who keep the show running. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.